Because what you have to realize is that you are the architect, the engineer, right, of your own destiny, your own happiness. So you have to understand that there's, there's always a hidden order behind how some things are done, right? And that as we start and create and build wealth and build success and build habits, right, creation really starts from within. So whether it's creation, like I said, of habits, your success, whether it's creation of a new mindset, of a new attitude, right, of, of new affirmations, it really all starts from within and is revealed externally, right? But this is like when it starts within and then it's revealed to your reality, when all of a sudden, right, your, your trades are starting to hit, all of a sudden you're attracting right people into your business, all of a sudden you're starting to hit some ranks, right? All of a sudden you start to have a better relationship with yourself. What happens is all of that really starts from within. And all that happens when you start to actually have an accurate way of thinking, right? Have, have a, a precise understanding of your emotions, of the actions. So when you're thinking your emotions and your actions and all of these things are in harmony, right? When you're thinking your emotions and actions are in harmony with your identity, right? This is when all of these laws of the universe everything starts to work, right? Those of you should be familiar with Bob Proctor. If you're not, go watch him on Go Live. YouTube has an incredible amount of uh, videos and information that he's talked about, you know, same principles that are spoken in like thinking grow rich, et cetera, et cetera. But when you have these thinking, your emotions and your actions in harmony with your identity, whew, that's when we really start to get that, that big mo, right? That momentum. That's when you start to not just get momentum in your volume, momentum in your business, but you start to get momentum in your fulfillment. You start to get momentum in who you really are, right? All of a sudden, you're able to tap in and light that fire. And when you're able to light that fire inside of you, right, that, that starts to light everybody up around and you start to get the energy and you start to get that feeling. So I have a couple of questions that I need you to ask yourself. All right, so this is something that I need and Guys, before we go forward with this, Please make sure you're taking notes. Grab a blue pen. Grab a blue pen. Some of you know why. Others will have to look that up. And, and I want you to take notes on, on everything that we're going to be saying today. Um, don't take notes because for me, it's not about me. It's do it for you. Just because you, you just can't keep up with all the information. It's just not possible. So, guys, you know, every day <clears throat> what happens is as, as most of you know, or most of you were on a, a 90 day sprint type of call, right? Quarter four. So most people have been on a call like that in the last, you know, last week or two weeks or so, right? Going into this last phase of the year, this last season with all of this. Months. But here's the things I need you to ask yourself, right? I need you to ask yourself a couple questions every day. And as long as you ask yourself these questions every day, you're going to be able to do, right? You're going to be able to do things that you didn't actually imagine. And then you're going to be able to do things that you actually did imagine. So this is where the loyalty to the unseen reality starts to come to fruition. So at first you have to ask yourself, right? What is my, what, what, what is my vision, right? What am I a part of? So what is my vision? What am I a part of? After that, then I need you to ask yourself, you know, who am I? This company is brilliant. This company is absolutely brilliant because what they did was they, they, they claimed, right? They claimed the most powerful affirmation in the world ever in history of language. They claim that as their name. So we, we get to carry on the most powerful affirmation. So someone asks you what you do, you're basically telling them that you just affirm whatever reality that you choose. And so I am, who am I? So imagine that, how could you be building an amazing community of traders, of leaders, of, of um, thought provokers, of thought leaders, how could you be doing that? How can you be building people in I am if you don't know who am I? 
So make sure you're asking yourself these questions. And this is not a question that you ask yourself one time, right? This is not a question that's just a, something temporary. These are, this is daily. This is a daily conversation with yourself, right? So number one, what am I a part of? Number two, who am I? From there, we're, we're going to talk about values and belief, right? So what is important to me? Right. This is this is the values part. What is important to me? So this is this is things that you journal in the morning. This is the if you're meditating in the morning, you got to consider these thoughts because you got to get yourself right if you want to help everyone else get right. Right. So next question would be how or what will I learn? Like how or what will I learn? Because here's the reality is you have to be right planning the work and working the plan. Are you planning the study? Like, how do you expect yourself to grow if you're not preparing yourself for growth? Y'all feel me? I said, well, how will you expect yourself to grow if you're not preparing yourself for growth? What books, or do you know what books you're gonna read? Do, is it gonna be 15, pay, 15 days, um, 15, I mean, 15 minutes of your, of your day? What time is that gonna be? Because if it's just truly important to you, you're going to schedule it in your life. You're going to give this objective a time and space in your life. Right? So after this, you got to ask yourself, what will I do differently today? Right? What will I do differently today? This is where we take a moment of reflection from yesterday, from the days beyond. And then we ask ourselves, what will I do that I didn't do yesterday? What will I shift? What will I change in order to grow. What will I do differently? This is where you can actually acknowledge that there are things that you have to do that you're not doing. That's just facts, right? There are things that you really don't want to do today that you have to do, right? So every, I challenge you to daily do one thing that you don't want to do, but you know you have to. And watch the direction of your life change, just watch. <laughs> because you're gonna start to, to push that comfort zone. You're gonna start to annihilate that comfort zone. And the last question, right? And this is an interesting one, is when and where am I? Right? When and where am I? What does that mean? This is... All right, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I have no idea what you said. All good? Perfect. So, all right, you guys are like, wait, what was you about to say? I don't even know anymore. I put you on, um, <laughs> I put you guys on, I'll put you still, right? They knew, they knew that the sauce was coming in too, 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 it's gonna be too spicy. All right, so when and where am I? The reason I asked this question is that this is where you're actually selecting your environment, right? Here's where you're becoming conscious of your environment. Now, this isn't a physical, only a physical environment, right? This is a mental environment. This is a space that you're creating for yourself to succeed. Are you giving yourself the proper place, not, not just physical space, but mental and spiritual space to actually grow? Because something that Jay Shetty said, right? Jay Shetty, the, the millennial... The millennial monk, right? one of the most, honestly, one of the most well-known and well-respected individuals on the planet right now, um, he said that a part of the monk culture was half of the day you, you serve yourself and the other half you serve others. And what I just did, what, what I just laid out for you, right? what I just laid out for you was a way for you to really serve yourself, right? acknowledge who, who you're becoming in order, right, in order to then 
fulfill everyone else's destiny, help them get to where they want to go. So what kind of environment are you creating for yourself? When and where am I? Are you giving right your goals a, a, a time and place? And so what I want you to guys to understand is that this is these, these concepts, right? These concepts that I'm walking you through, are, this is how you build unwavering loyalty and vision to your unseen reality. This is how you start to understand that what you're doing every day, because this is a con guys, here's the funny thing is this is a daily practice. It's like you, you don't just one time you sign up and you're super hyped and you're like, okay, cool. I'm going to be successful. And then that one moment will create a chain reaction of success. That's not how this works. Like every day, you guys have heard this before, right? Every day the rent is due. You got to get to work, right? So the thing is the same concept with your vision, the same concept with your manifestations every single day you have to create that vision for yourself because what happens is that every single day what you're doing is you're bridging your imagination right you're bridging your imagination to a physical reality and eventually you paint this vision so much in your head your subconscious mind has no idea what's what this is how you develop right posture, how you develop confidence, how you develop proper habits, how you develop yourself. Is, is this is the acting as if concept that I think Tim's gonna be going over with you guys shortly, but this is how you actually start to do it. Because what the reality is that you have to decide, it's it's a decision. Guys, because the craziest thing is that everyone here wants to be free. Everyone here has I made a decision to be free. But the tricky part with that is that now, as you made the decision to be free, you have the freedom to make the right or wrong decisions every single day. And that's where things get really tricky. Because you now have the freedom to make a decision, this is where you have to become impeccable with your work. Now, you don't always have to make the right decision. It's not going to work out that way. but as long as you keep making more right decisions than wrong, eventually, right, your identity is going to start to become what your vision is. Because here's what's happening is now what you're doing is that since every single day, it's every single day, you're, you're truly painting a vision. You can legitimately paint this vision. You can write it out. You can meditate, create it in your imagination. But what happens is this. The more you do that, the more you are present. Like the more you paint your vision, the more you're present. Because what most people do is they, they, they start to think about everything that has happened. Right? And, and it's not that they're thinking about solutions or, le- or how they can learn on those moments. They just re- keep replaying the same moment over and over and over again, wishing it was different. Right? taking on a victim mentality when the more that you have acknowledged what has happened, right? You, you, you stripped the the gold, which is a lesson from the past, right? Now that you have that gold from the past, right? You mind that experience and you strip the gold, which was the lesson right now in the present moment, right? You have value. You have that experience. And since you're painting the vision every single day, what's happening here? Right. Since you're painting the vision every single day for yourself, you, you're no longer thinking about the past. Right. You, you've come to terms with that. Now all you're doing is creating. Right. Now what's happening is that the, the inner self, right, it's engaged in every, these everyday activities that you're selecting for yourself. Right. Here's where you start to get that deep sense of peace. right? At a really deep level of presence, right? You're going to have this super accurate thought, which is detached from overthinking, right? So this is the sweet spot, guys. This is the sweet spot. So what I want you guys to understand, because I don't want to go into this for too long, because I know Tim has a lot that he wants to share, right? But you always have to make it a point in in your mind, in, in, in your soul, You have to make it a point of moving forward, right? 
moving forward, there's, there's this natural progression that, that the human mind taps into. This is just like, naturally we are evolving. So you have to make the decision that so is your mind, so is your income, right? So are your habits, so, so is your attitude. But you have to make the decision. You have to consciously make the decision that, you know what? I'm always moving forward, right? I'm, all, I'm unfolding the power of my thoughts and I'm developing these hidden possibilities. So you're going to realize, <clears throat> right? You're going to realize that it's, it's all about that t- tapping into that flow. Tapping in, you hear this all the time, flow state, right? Flow state. How do you do that? How do you do that? All right, some you guys that probably have seen, there are people in your environment or people that you look up to that you see they're always on it, right? You're, you're like, this person's so consistent. Every time I'm on one of this person's calls, they're crushing it. Or, or they're always doing trainings or they're doing events or they're touring or whatever. And you think, how does this person possibly have the energy to do that? Like how, how the hell does this person just day to day, like maybe some of you have been following people for years and this person is legitimately like just going in. Right? So that's because they're tapped into that flow state. They're not forcing themselves you know, into the grind culture and just blindly doing things for the sake of doing things. They, they have a rhythm, right? And they're repeating it. And because they have a purpose with their actions, right? Because they have a purpose with their actions, now this energy comes from that purpose. It comes from that passion. It's not coming from, from an external force. It's not coming from, you know, uh, an energy drink. It's not coming from whatever it's coming from your passion from your purpose and that's how you're tapping into the flow right because so what happens is once you realize that maybe every time you start to do a training you get fulfillment like once you become aware that every time you're communicating some sort of information exposing some sort of knowledge whether it's doing a, a trading training whatever it might be and you f- you know that there's fulfillment that comes with that your brain starts to look at things instead of and i have to do this And it it turned into, I get to do this. But that comes with a conscious decision and understanding that, whoa, there's so much fulfillment here. Right? The flow comes from seeing challenges as something joyful and and is contributing to your growth and to your trajectory, to where you're going. Right? This flow state comes from asking yourself the questions I gave you in the beginning. What am I a part of? Who am I? What is important to me? Right? How and what will I learn today? What will I do differently? When and where am I? So all of these questions you ask yourself, this will give you that, that, that purification of your mind. It gets you to, to that point where you are flowing, right? Where you are flowing because what you want to do is, is just, you want us to create the experience. Right? And these experiences are a result of, of mental, emotional, and physical actions. Right? So here's the thing, right? If experiences are a result of thought, mental, emotional, and physical actions, and all of these actions are an outcome of our thoughts, our beliefs, and assumptions, then what happens is that our thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions, that's going to determine the experiences in our lives. So what, what the hell did I just tell you, right? What I just basically told you is this. The craziest part about success, right? The craziest part about this whole experience that, that you're going to go through, you know, from starting at, you know, just joining. Maybe today's your first day here. Maybe it's your first as a trader, is your first day as a consciously building a massive organization right? People of impact. And, and, and through this whole moment, there's going to be, you know, the trials and tribulations, the struggles, the fears, all of these things. But your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions are going to determine your attitude in those experiences. Some people may, may have, you know, they, they, they feel like something's happening. They're in a situation, but <laughs> legitimately, 
your beliefs and your assumptions and your thoughts towards that moment is what creates that experience, right? Tim and I could go through the exact same situation and we would have an entirely different experience. Think about how powerful that is. Think about how powerful humans, how human beings are. Think about how powerful, right? The, the differentiation from feeling and being is, right? Tim and I could have the exact same ex situation happen, but we can have entirely different experiences. And that's all based on, do, do you master, are you the master of your mind or emotions or, is, or are your mind or emotions the master of you? So as you go through this journey, ask yourself that question, right? Am I currently the master of my thoughts, feelings, and emotions? Or are my thoughts, feelings, and emotions the master of me? So with that being said, guys, I'm going to pass it over to the person who actually brought me into this world, this I am world, right? Someone who, who has really helped me understand, right, how, how to have loyalty to the unseen reality, right? How to bridge the gap from what you think you know to your imagination, right? Uh, someone who, when I came into this, I, I had... <laughs> My belief systems were very low. I didn't. Ne I never believed that I could get to even where I am now. And, and there's only so much more to go. But this is a person that was able to really be a truly a, be a leader, right? Someone who understands where you're at, and then can take you to where they know you can go, right? So with that being said, guys, uh, please make sure you have your your notepads out. You know your iPads out. You're taking notes uh, because the sauce that's coming your way is going to be ridiculous it's gonna be like that elite curry that's coming your way right now um so guys please make sure you're paying attention right if you're on your social media this is now the time to not be on your social media because this man's about to go in. so tim sloma chairman 10 drop it our way brother mike i appreciate you also i'm unable to turn my camera on for some reason so if you want to go ahead and get that taken care of for me i started to laugh when you said uh I brought you into this world and I was like, man, I really hope your parents aren't watching this because they're, <laughs> they're going to be a little confused, but I appreciate you guys. Drop some sevens in the chat while Mike is getting my video figured out here. Drop some sevens in the chat and give it back to him. Perfect. I think I'm here. I think I'm alive. Amazing. Um, that's value, guys. A, a lot of people are always searching for the hype, the energy, the craziness, and they're not even really paying attention to the words that are, that are being spoken. And what Mike gave you, if you apply that, that is going to make massive changes in your results. Mike is not only a chairman 10, right? He's also the only dual language educator in the company. He's been an educator for far less time than many others, but has the most viewed hours and most hours educated. He's been on TV in multiple different countries. At one point was top five in the world on TradingView, but understood that doing these little things that were maybe the opposite way of what everyone sees on social media and everyone sees typically in the industry would bring actual results, will bring actual results. And so no matter how powerful that information was, if you don't go take action off of it, nothing's going to happen. You're going to wake up tomorrow and do the same exact thing you've always been doing. And you're going to be getting the same exact results that you've always been getting. Now we're on a corporate call and these are reviewed. So I'm not going to do my normal, you know, how I normally talk when we're doing team trainings, but my team knows I'm, I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to be your brother, your sister, your mom or dad. Those people lie to you. Those people lie to you guys. I had a conversation, you know, I had a conversation with, uh, I was doing a Spanish training for my Colombia and Ecuador teams and I was being translated course, you know, <laughs> I ain't doing a full training in Spanish. And I was telling him, I said, one of our biggest downfalls that we have as a company is we launch customers. We launch customers. That is a issue. That is an issue. And it should be an embarrassment as a mentor. And let me tell you why we give people one stream of income. You're no better than their current boss. We have to stop launching customers and start launching entrepreneurs. There should be every single person on your team in this call. 
but you let them say, oh, yeah, I'm just going to trade right now. Go back to work because you're going to just trade your time for money anyways because that's the exact same thing you're doing when you're trading in the market. Guys, yes, I am a Chairman Ted, but I also have a healthy trading account. I understand the importance of trading, but what I'm telling you is you are a freaking goofball if you only trade. You don't understand money. You don't understand entrepreneurship. Take investor out of your Instagram bio. You don't know what you're doing. That is your ego and fear eating you alive. And that is why you will always be where you're at. So guys, massive action. I can end the call right now with those two words. Massive action. And I absolutely love this freaking industry. Let me tell you why I love this industry, because what you're being paid right now is only the reflection of who you are as an individual and the value that you bring not only to your team, but to the people who see you on the internet, the people that see you on the street. If you're platinum 600 and you're saying, man, I wish I was being paid platinum 1000, or I wish I was being paid chairman 10, you'll never get there because you're always wishing for it. You're not acting as if you have it. When I was Platinum 150, I remember when I first joined this company, I told Jason Brown, he flew out to Chicago, we did an event, I'll be Chairman 10 in 90 days. It took me three years, but my actions didn't stop after on day 91. My actions didn't stop on day 92, day 93, day 180, day 500. No, because I already was chairman. I was already acting as if I knew chairman wasn't a check. I knew chairman was massive action. Chairman was massive action. Jason Brown did a training in Miami. He had about 65 to 70 chairmen fly out. And we sat down and game planned uh, quarter four in 2021. And he did a training on the topic of uh, the small leg, the small leg. And I know every single person in here has a small leg or a weak leg or a profit leg or whatever you want to call it, right? But my team knows this. So don't be dropping in here, giving away the secrets, all right, right? Here's the paradigm shift. Here's the paradigm shift. Your smallest leg is your current thought process. It's the way you think. That's your smallest leg. It's not leg three. It's not leg two. It's not leg one. How about this? What about your PRSB? You want to be chairman, but you got, a, what's 145 times three? Whatever that math is, that's what you got. You're deranking every other week because you can't even get anyone started. And here's the, here's the craziest part. The, the, the even smaller leg, right, is your personal volume. Some leaders on this call have zero personal volume. Yeah, I'm P1000 now. I don't need the customer package. You never even would draw on 100 bucks. You need the customer package. It shouldn't even be 150. It should be 195. You're telling me Jason Brown, Chairman 750, is becoming a DCX educator, and I've seen his crypto portfolio. Go, Chairman. You'll be able to see it too, but you're not going to pay the extra $50 for it? You want to make a lot of money trading, but you don't have bounce back. You don't have steady. You don't have gold cup. That's your smallest leg. It's you. It's no one else on your team. When I was going chairman, I didn't expect anyone to sign anyone up. I knew that I had to get 500 personals. Every other person that came on, they weren't extra. They were my personals. Some of you get placements and forget that they're your team. Guys, I put in almost 200 people in this business. The average chairman, well, at one point in time, if you go into their back office, you go to their unit level tree, I guarantee you every single chairman has over 100 personals. Over 100 personals. I guarantee it. So here's my challenge to you guys. Not in the next 90 days, but in the next 21 days, double your PRSV. Double your PSRV. Then you won't have a small leg anymore because once your team sees you actually doing something, they're going to start doing something. Here's the craziest part. Guys, a goal is simply just a vision of the future. And what did Mike just get done talking about? The vision of the future, living in that reality. We're only limited by our weakness of attention and our poverty of imagination. Listen to that one more time. We're only limited by our weakness of attention and poverty, poverty of imagination. That's a bar. If you knew 100% right now 
right? That you were going to be a chairman or you were going to be a six-figure trader. What would you be doing right now? That first thought in your head is what you should be doing. And let me just, let me kill y'all really quick, right? So many people, well, if I was going to be a six-figure trader, you know, I'd be on go live. Let me tell you something. The best traders in the world don't trade. And what do I mean by that? They take three to four trades a week and the other 70 plus hours a week, guys, I'm not good at math. Don't expect me to give you numbers, right? They put their hands underneath their butt. They don't even look at the screen. You want to go chairman? Let me tell you what chairmen do. They wake up early. They read books. They talk to people. They eat healthy. They work out. They promote the webinar. Let me tell you, <laughs> the little things is what the chairman do. The little things is what the chairman do. Guys, here's one of the biggest breakthroughs I've ever had. You have to allow yourself to become successful. You. You have to allow yourself to become successful. You are your only problem right now. Don't blame your upline. Don't blame your downline. Don't blame your team culture. Don't blame the system. Don't blame the credit card processors. Don't blame insert the blank BS. You are the problem. But here's the best part. You're also the only solution. And the only way for you to create that solution is by taking massive action, listening to the right content, seeing people do what you need to do and going out and getting it done. Mike said the best, right? You can either be a slave to your thoughts or their master. You can either be a slave to your emotions or their master. But look at this. We are some of the most powerful creatures in the world. We were made in, we're in, made in God's highest form of creation. We have imagination. It's the only instrument that allows us to create our reality. It's the only instrument because the way that you talk to yourself provokes your thoughts. What do your thoughts do? They provoke your actions and your actions dictate the results that you get. So what you're speaking, you're accepting and what you accept, you get more of. What you accept, you get more of. So many people have good intentions, right? We always talk about set the intention to the universe. If I just have the right intention, God will take care of me. At some point in your career, at some point in your business, at some point you need to wake the frick up and stop having the best of intentions and start having the best of actions. Because if you want to go chairman and you're waiting for people to come to you, you're tripping. You know where you're going to wait? At the bus stop to go back to work. Because there ain't no one coming to you. Jason Brown and Matt Rose are my personal mentors. And they sign more personals than any other chairman. Come at them. They're chairman 750. They get articles written about them. They're the top 10 earners in the world. I think they're number six. They go after people. Why? Because they understand business. If I owned a traditional business, which my family does, and which I have outside of this, I am looking to hire people. Recruiting is the answer. You want a good business? Are you going to let Joe Schmo come up to you? Your, your, your friend that you, you, you grew up around that smokes a lot of pot, your friend that drinks a lot, there's nothing wrong with either thing, but that's all they do? And you're, oh, they'll come to me. No, go out and go get it done. Guys, do you even, do you know what the next 90 days looks like? Do you know what your goals for 2021 are yet? Do you? Guys, 2021 started months ago. It started months ago because what we do now determines what happens later. Uh, you know, with the new the new year, you know, people are going to want to have, mm, stop it, stop it. Oh, oh, well, in December, you know, it's the holiday season. How many holidays are in December? I celebrate three. How many days are in December? 31? So 28 out of 31 days ain't shit, but you got to take December off. You're tripping. You're tripping. Guys, the purpose of me telling you this stuff, right? The purpose of this training isn't the training. It's what you do after it. It's what you do after it. It's allowing this to become your springboard of success. It's taking the information you're receiving and not only you doing it, but duplicating it. Not only you doing it, but teaching it. You have to take this information and teach it. Guys, success, Jim Rohn said this. I think this is one of the, the, the most powerful things I've ever heard. He said, Success is a few disciplined practices every single day. Failure is a few errors of judgment repeated every day. 
a lot of people get confused with words, right? And they, they look at words as the most important things, but guys, success is a few disciplined practices every single day. Failure is a few errors of judgment repeated every single day. Guys, do the little things every single day and you're going to get those results. Now, I was going to go in and honestly talk about uh, how, do, how to have an 11 out of 11 day. You know, my favorite number is 11. Grew up with 11, played, you know, collegiate sports with number 11. Um, and so we created something called the 11 chairman DMOs. And I was going to go over that. But honestly, I think y'all have enough information. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the recording in here. Go to our YouTube channel. Mike and I have created a YouTube channel where all of our trainings go there. We talk about cold marketing. We talk about warm marketing. We talked about the power of two and duplication, right? We talk about daily methods of operation. We talk about setting up 90-day plan. We talk about goal setting. We have Forex trainings. We have crypto training. We have everything on there. Guys, I, some leaders do not want to give up their trainings. I don't care because if everyone's winning, we're all winning. If everyone is winning, we're all winning. This is what I'm going to end it with. And Mike, I told you I was just going to come in hot, and that was it. <laughs> Last time we did Next Wave, right, Mike and I were on here for like two hours, and I was like, holy crap, what did we just do? <laughs> what did we just do? Mike, if you want to drop our Instagrams in the chat, uh, I have getting private messages. Go ahead and drop that for me. Um, and, you know, people can follow and reach out when I'll be able to answer questions. But I'm going to end it like this, right? I always love asking the question, do you know how much money a chairman brings into I am? How much money does I am earn off 500 people in the business? And the answer is 1,080,000. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true, but I'm just doing 175 times 500, right? Times 12, that's 1,080,000. Do you currently operate your business as if it generates a million dollars? And if you do not, you cannot be a chairman. I don't care if you have three people. I don't care if you have 30 people. If you do not operate like you have a million dollar business, you will never have one. There's some chairmen who don't operate like they have, they have a million dollar business. You know what happens when a company doesn't operate properly? When an employee doesn't operate properly? They say, bye-bye. You have to operate like a million dollar business. This is not some online side hustle thing that you get to post on Instagram for fun. This is a business. Treat it like one. Stop treating it like $175 a month subscription. Treat it like a million dollar business and you'll start seeing chairman results. Here's another one. Do you treat MetaTrader 4 like an application on your phone or do you treat it like you have access to the largest financial market in the world where the top 10 traders are institutions and institutions are the ones who are making billions of dollars every single day? Start treating it like one and you'll start to get those results. So guys, you can no longer claim ignorance. You have the information. Go out there and take massive action. I appreciate and love every single one of you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your year, amazing rest of your week. Um, and if you need anything, reach us on social media, follow us on YouTube. I'm looking forward to providing value to each and every single one of you. So Mike, if you have anything else, take it over, but I'm going to wow. mute myself. Mm -hmm. the video off. Wow. Wow. Tim went in. I came at y'all real spiritual. Wanted to give you guys the love and wake you up a little bit to think a little bit differently. And Tim came and smacked you guys all around. I'm going to be real, Tim came in here so, so hot, but this is the information that has to be duplicated towards you, right? Like he said at the beginning, he didn't come here to be your friend, right? He came here to be your mentor, right? And this is the thing that you have to have people around you that will check you like that. You have to have people around you that aren't afraid to tell you what you need to hear. That's the, that's the beauty of community, guys, is that you have people that don't just pick you up but they also show you what you need to do, show you how you need to grow. They put, they, they put the light on, let's put the spotlight on, you know, what needs to be developed. So guys, Tim, appreciate you, man. You absolutely crushed it. I know a lot of people just had their own uh, vibe most definitely checked, right? Your action is checked. And I think something that really stood out to me is how you said the intentions, right? Intentions is something that, you know, you want to set the proper intention. You are, of course, you're here to, with proper values and proper morals but here's the thing it's cute to just have intentions right 
it's, it's cute to just have intentions. And the reason I say that it's cute to just have intentions is because that that's just an excuse to say that something's possibly happening, right? That, that there's potential. But you, you guys really know what potential means, right? If someone tells you, yo, man, you got potential, you guys, you guys know what that means, right? It means you haven't really done anything. Like, it would be really cool if you did. And so where are you right now in your process? Right? So, guys, my, I have two questions I'm going to ask you, and then we'll leave it at that, and we'll end this call. Right? You got to ask yourself, right, what am I willing to do to make it, make it the way I want it? Right? What am I willing to do in this business to get to where I want to go? And then you have to ask yourself, what am I not willing to do? I want you to really think about this. What am I willing to do? And what am I not willing to do? Because I'll tell you what. The moment you realize that this has been a million dollar business in front of you the whole time. It's just as simple as being aware. It's just as simple as being aware that this whole time you had you had a million dollar business in your hand. Legit. It was like it was right here. The whole time. So guys, embrace a higher level of consciousness inside of you. Right? Wake up. Wake up. Choose to be the lion in the wild and not the lion in the cage. Right? It's a decision that you get to make every single day. Right? Every single day. That instinct is inside of you to be powerful. That's inside of you. But again, you have to make the decision every single day. Right? Are you going to be the lion in the wild or are you going to be the lion in the cage?